Again, I'm sorry about that long song and interaction, intermission or whatever, but I got to singing and then, you know, and it's got to go on and I couldn't stop. You know how you get the Holy Ghost when you're in, in church and you get to ride down and out? Okay, that's the way I felt inside. And I do have a testimony. Today is Sunday and I do have a testimony. And my testimony is, today is, uh, uh, the other day, my nephew and I, everybody do have a testimony. I know they do. They should. I guess they do. Well, anyway, my nephew and I, we, we drove by a church the other day. My nephew looked over. He's a grown man. He looked over at his auntie. He said, that church is giving away free food. And I said, oh, they serving, huh? And he said, yes. And I said, well, he said, let's go over there. So I pulled over. So he said, I already done ate breakfast. I said, I did too. And I went to the Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know, it was about like 1230 to something, one o'clock. And I said, I went to Chuck Kentucky Fried Chicken, got me a two-piece meal, potatoes and all. You know how that is. Okay, now, when uh, we pulled up, we walked on, we got we got out and walked on the premise, the, the yard, and two ladies sitting out front, they grills and everything. Come on in, whatever. And so we didn't know that we needed, <clears throat> we didn't know that we needed uh, uh, tickets to get a plate of food. So uh, we walked on, we got in line, the line was long, y'all know how that is, <laughs> when food is free, we coming, y'all know that. Well, of course, you know everybody, most, but anyway, uh, so now I told my, I said to my nephew, I said, nephew, I got to go to the facility, and I'll be right back. He's okay, go ahead on the bathroom. He said, go ahead on. I stand right here and keep the place. I said, yes. So as I walked across the yard with two ladies and a security guy sitting there, whatever, and I asked one of the ladies, excuse me, do y'all have an open bathroom in there? He, she said, yes. And I said, now you? She said, yes. She says, three doors down on the right. I said, well, thank you. She said, you're welcome. So I, as I was going through the right door, and uh, some people was coming out the left door, and so we was coming out, I was going in, they was coming out at the same time. And so this little nine-year-old boy, yeah, pop that color, and uh, <laughs> excuse me, y'all, he uh, reached over real fast with his mouth and he kissed my breast. Yes, my, this. He kissed one of them. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and I turned around and I balled my fist like this and I said, I looked at him, I said, don't do that. You just disrespect me. You know, I didn't know the boy was mental retarded or whatever. And he looked and like he wanted to smile. And then, um, so the lady he was with, his grandmama, mom, mama, whoever she was, she jumped him back like that. She said, you know, you know you don't do that by kissing people without asking. I said, oh, he got to ask me, can he kiss my breast? That's crazy. What is she talking about? And so then I didn't know. So I went on to the bathroom and I, and I told her, I said, that's disrespectful. He don't know no better. I said, you need to teach him. 
You need to, because my grandchild and my child, they, they would have got disrespect, but they would have got this one right there. Okay, y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. So, uh, anyway, uh, I walked on down the hallway shaking my head, and I went to use the facility, because you know how you got to go, you got to go, you got to go, you got to go. So, now I'm like, yeah, okay. So, anyway, when I came out, there was two ladies standing in the hallway talking. I said, excuse me, lady, I'm here to interrupt your conversation, but I have something to say to you. I said, a few minutes ago, when I was coming through the door, going down here to the back of the facility down there, the little nine-year-old, ten-year-old boy looked like I said, he uh, kissed my breast. I don't know why he did that. And the other lady said, you know what? The one lady said, what? The other lady said, you, you know what? I know who you're talking about. She said, he's got a mental problem. I said, oh, okay. All right. But he still should be taught. I can understand, yes. He, I, I, I work with abused children and mental children and, and stuff like that. I do that stuff. I, I was doing it and I still tried, you know, but I still, you know, know about it. So anyway, so I'm, I, I can understand. So I said, okay. Mm -hmm, but he still need to be taught. So anyway, so I went outside and got back in line with my nephew. He done moved up some that quick. And then he said, come on, Auntie, come on back in front of me. Some people standing behind him. So I said, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Man standing there, he like he didn't want to say nothing to me. He like he didn't want to move. I said, excuse me again. Finally, he looked back. So I went over to my nephew. My nephew said, get in front of me. So my nephew said, I'm going to go sit down now. So he went to sit down. And I looked back and I said, oh, I hope other people ain't mad at me because my nephew let me in front of him. He said, down. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, so when I got up there, this girl I seen was in front of me. She was giving out tickets to her kids and her family, whoever. And I'm like, I said, excuse me. And the lady, uh, lady said, uh, oh, you got to have, you got your ticket, you got your ticket. And then I said, I didn't know. I told that girl, I said, excuse me, you have to have tickets? Before she said something to me. No, no, tickets to get the place? She said, yeah. And then I said, well, you can, she's over there, over there. So anyway, the lady, when I got up and I said, excuse me, I asked the lady who helped passing the food. I said, excuse me. I said, do I have to get a ticket to go over there? You know, uh, do I do have to go over there somewhere and get a ticket to come and get this place. She said, yeah. She said, go right there, come back, and you get back in your line. Okay, I went over and got two tickets for my nephew. She just signed a book, and I had to sign a book for both of us. So I came back, got my place back, and when I came back, I handed the lady my ticket. She snatched it out of my hand, right? Okay, yeah, she snatched it. I'm going to tell you how the devil works. Now, she snatched it. The devil got into that nine-year-old child, and then it got into the ladies that were passing the food out. So the girl was in front of me before... She, the lady, she gave me one plate, and I said, wait a minute, it's two people, my nephew over there, and then she gave me another plate, she almost scratched my hand, and I looked at her, I said, you know, I don't take this, <laughs> I don't take this S, mm -mm. I, but I didn't say anything, I just gave her one of them look, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, y'all don't know what I'm trying to say, anyway, before I start cooking, okay, I just want to tell my testimony real quick, get to it, anyway, um, uh, so then I went down the line, and the other lady, she had some french fries. She gave the girl in front of me. You want some french fries? Gave a handful and gave it to her. And then she looked at me real crazy, and she had a handful of french fries. And get what she did? She dropped a few of my plate and dropped the rest back in the pan. So I had the other plate. She didn't give me none of that. She turned her head and looked straight ahead. I'm like, what in the world? And then I went down the line. The other lady, she had a big old spoonful of spaghetti. She looked at me, and she gave me a little bit. And she dropped it back in a the bowl. And then she got a little bit and put it on another plate. And then she said, you want some coleslaw? And I looked at her and I said, well, yeah. Like, I ain't know what to say to these evil peoples in church. Y'all hear me? And so then um, she gave me a little bit of coleslaw on each plate. And she looked at me, you want some bread? And I, I'm just doing this. Just for, you know, because my sister Rose made God rest her soul. She said, you're killing with kindness. Okay, I was killing her with kindness. I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was smiling at her. And she said, well, that's all you get? I mean, real crazy and mean. And then, you know, <laughs> I looked at both of all three of them, and I laughed, and I just walked away. And I took the plate over to my neighbor, and I took him over here with me. He said, I'm not hungry. And he said, I'm going to take it to my brothers. Like, yeah, that's okay, that's fine, whatever. So, you know what? I didn't need their food. I didn't want their food. Because I'm going to tell you one thing. I just wanted and needed to break bread with the Lord in the Lord's house. Okay? Now, God fed the multitude. How many? Y'all know what I'm talking about. How many? He fed. Mm -hmm. With what? How many fishes? Mm -hmm. How many loaves of bread? Mm hmm. What the what? Why? And I'm going to tell y'all something. I did not need and want their food. I 
need and wanted to sit down in the Lord's house and break bread with the Lord. Did you hear me? I don't need a baby. I got so much food in my house that I cook every day. I can feed the multitude. I can feed that whole church. Everybody was down there. I can feed them. And I'm not going to give you a tiny, tiny, tiny this. I know there's a lot of old people's coming, but if you got faith in God, the fish going to keep coming. The spaghetti going to keep coming. The french fry, the coleslaw, the bread, the drinks, the water going to keep coming. Do you hear me? <laughs> I'm not preaching, y'all, and I'm not upset. I'm just letting y'all know. Okay? Okay. <laughs> she gave me a little piece of fish like that. Picked over it. <laughs> and they picked over and gave me two little bit of pieces like that. I didn't care. <laughs> I did my daily duty. I sit down and I ate. In the Lord's house, I broke bread with him. Okay? Because I do mine the any way. And you do yours your way. Do you hear me? <laughs> I told my nephew what happened. He just looked. He said, okay, whatever. He wasn't really paying no attention. Okay. Then what we did, he, I wrapped his little plate up, and, he, and we got ready to leave. And I said like this, I hope these ladies don't belong to this church. I hope not. Because, see, God don't treat people that way. God don't do that. But everywhere you go, there is the devil. He kill, rob, and steal. There is the devil. And I'm going to tell y'all something, okay? Now, if you believe in Jesus, you pray for the wicked. You pray for the sick. You pray for the sinner. You pray for them. And that's what I said I'm going to do. I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> I'm going to pray for you. And you know, that's why I smile and I just walk the other way. And I came home and told my husband, he said, what? It don't matter. It don't matter because people's like that, I will haunt them in my church. Move them out. Move them out. We don't need no demons or no devils in the church. You don't treat people that way. What's wrong with you? Where is your? Where's your godly spirit at? Huh? But they will be redeemed. They be okay. Now, listen, I know y'all tired of my mouth and I told my testimony. All right, son. Mama, okay. You fine. I'm fine. Tristan? All right, Tori. Okay. And my grandbabies. Granny, mama, wife, is fine. <laughs> it's okay, baby. It's okay. Okay, now, I done told my testimony. I'm not like that, because you come to my house, huh? I'll feed you. Oh, I'll feed you. Now, I'm going to get down to my dinner. And the other day, I cooked some catfish today, Sunday. No, we're not having no turning greens. We ain't having all of that. This is what I'm having. Some green beans today. I'm having spaghetti and some whitening fish, okay? And we're trying to get the cooking here, less talking, and a lot of cooking. And while I'm cooking, I'm going to put on a rejoice song, okay? And I hope y'all like it. Praise him. Praise him. Has love been good to you? 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 Say amen, 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 amen. Say amen, 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 amen. And let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. It's been good to me. It's been good to you. It's been good to me. It's been good to you. Has love been good to you? 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 He been good to me. He been good to me. He been good. He been good to me. Has love been good to you? Has love been good to you? Yeah, he 
people for me and anyway and uh, this complete season all this good's got everything in it you can buy it anywhere honey Trader Joe's Kroger's Walmart anywhere so I'm gonna put two cups of meal in my fish I'm not gonna go all through no barrel batter and egg white and flour and what am I doing out there today Cause I don't hold y'all long enough. Y'all don't hurt my mouth long enough. So, I'm going to cut it up. Let's get it a little bit more. So my fish is better, y'all. I'm going to put one piece at a time in the skillet. Whew. I'm making a sort of mess over here, y'all. I'm trying to get out of this kitchen. Y'all know me. Looks like I didn't pour enough milk in my fish. There's no milk. Got to go in there. And this is not doing right. Look like it's going to rain, y'all. I'll put another piece in there, okay? I'm going to close this up right quick. I'm going to wipe my hands, y'all. Okay, now get my tinsels out here, y'all. Like I always do. And then over here. First of all, I got to stir it up my spaghetti before it gets to sticking and burn it. Okay, there we go. Cut my green beans down some, y'all. Okay, now I got to find my sauce here. beat the top of the sauce off. No, I didn't crack the top. I poured it in my spaghetti. You can make your own, though, out of scratch, like tomatoes and all that old stuff. No, I'm not going through all that today. I'm just going to do me. <laughs> Woo, dummy. You can spend it a whole jar in there like I just did. <laughs> I put the whole jar in there. Yeah, buddy. And just let it simmer. Ooh, my green beans are cooking very fast here. They must want me to eat them up real quick. All right. Now, we don't stir this spaghetti uh, sauce up in here. 
And if you wanted a little dark red, I think you can add another can of tomato sauce in it. If I can find another can, I probably don't have no more, y'all. Y'all gotta excuse me. I'm really looking for stuff, okay? my sauce a little thicker. I'm going to put a half or a whole can of tomato paste in it. You can buy it anywhere. Probably Trader Joe's. Walmart. Okay. We're going to cut our fish down a little bit because we want to have some pretty fish today, y'all. And I'm doing this for a reason. <laughs> to show everybody, when you come to my house, you don't starve, okay? No, you don't starve in my house. I don't let you. I don't let you. This is more thicker, and I should have put my salt. What I should have did was made my salt first. But see, I usually do. So I usually put my sauce by itself to the side, then I add my spaghetti in it. But oh gosh. But today, I'm in a little bit of a hurry. I'm in a little hurry. Okay. I'm trying to get through with this stuff. Another spoonful in there. And then let it simmer on in. I didn't put no bell pepper, no onions. I ain't put none of that in my spaghetti. I just cooked it plain. That's all I did was cook the plain. I didn't feel like going through all that because I had a testimony to tell. Because I had a testimony to tell. That's why. So now, what I'm going to do, check on my fish. I begin to do these shows too often. I'm going to have to slow down a little bit and get me some rest. But you can tell by my eyes, sometimes I ain't had no rest. Oh, Lord. Uh -uh. Put this over here. I'll wipe my stove off in a minute. And I was going to have some collard, some uh, cauliflower with it. I was going to have some cauliflower with my fish today, y'all. I'm just cleaning off my stove here. My green beans are boiling pretty tough, but I decided not to have no cauliflower since I got spaghetti and green beans. And I know some people usually do what? Coleslaw, but I don't want none of that today. I ain't got time to make all that. I do not have time to make all that. So I'm going to taste my spaghetti and see what else it needs in it. Let me go over here to the sink. It's just fine. Unless you want to add a little tinge of salt. If you want to add just a little tinge of salt, I'm going to put some more complete in here. About another tablespoon. Just sprinkle it in there. I don't want no salt. Then I'm gonna put another teaspoon of garlic powder in there. No, I don't want no salt. That's enough. Then I'm gonna put a little three tops of peanut oil in it. You know what I'm saying? You can put anything you want in it. You can get the packed your spaghetti mix you want to. Don't forget the sauce. I'm not using all that. Mm -mm. I'm going to do mine, but anyway. And I'm going to tell you something else. You can just dip into your spaghetti if you want it spicy. I'm going to tell you something. You put a little bit right here, the bowl of sauce, whatever it is. You can buy it anywhere. Put about four or five teaspoons of that in there. 
And I'm going to tell you, you're going to be on fire. Yeah, you're going to be on fire. So <laughs> that's hot. You can put just a top floor in it. That if, that if you want to spice it, you know what I mean? But that's why I said that, because then if you want to spice it, you don't have to do it. But if you want to spice it, you do it. But if you don't want to spice it, don't do it. But some people just like spice, you know? <laughs> and it tastes good with spice most of the time. It does. But later on, when you hit that pot and it don't taste good, don't it? <laughs> it burns out the other end. <laughs> I'm a little gospel today, y'all. I'm a little gospel today. So y'all gotta forgive me. I'm over here taking an intermission break. I guess this is a TV show, huh? And while I'm cooking now, I'm going to put something else on, okay? I'm going to put something else on while I'm cooking. Just give me a little time, because uh, we're going to stand up for Jesus. Stand up for Jesus.
Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. I couldn't help you, y'all. I had that meal on my hand, but I had to shout. Yes, I had to shout. I'm telling y'all. And y'all get that feeling. Make you want to shout. Make you want to run down the aisle. And keep on going when you when you run. Excuse me, y'all. I just got the spirit today, y'all, okay? The spirit is in me. That's what that is. You see, I you see, I do mine to any way. And you do yours your way. You hear? <laughs> Cause you still can jam in the kitchen. Hallelujah. Yeah. And you still can slide. And you couldn't slide. And then you had no walk back. And then you go forward. 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 And then you step side by side. And then you step side by side. And then you raise your hand. And then you raise your hand. You, you can wait. You can And then it's. Mm, mm, mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Move, move with Jesus. Move, move with Jesus. There y'all go. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. You still can have fun in your kitchen. Don't give up. Keep that spirit. Have your fun, okay? And you know what? Drinking a glass of wine, some people drink one or two or three. That ain't enough. They gotta drink four or five. The reason why I say wine, if you can drink just a little shot of wine on Sundays, mm -hmm. but don't get drunk off of it. <laughs> you can still do your thing. You can still do your thing in the kitchen. So I'm trying to hurry up and get through. What I'm going to do is cook a few more pieces of fish, and then I'm going to let this go because I've got too much spaghetti in my pot. And I'm going to let this go. Now I'm going to just step off the camera for a second while this is frying. Then I'm going to find me a plate and plate up me some of that, okay? Okay. And I'm going to get me a plate. And I'm going to plate up a little bit of that food right there. Yeah. The other day, I dropped one of my crystal plates, and then I dropped the other kind of plate. I don't know what's going on in this kitchen, and then I'm going to have to clean up, okay? I got to clean this mess up right here. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Okay. Let me go over there and give me a little of this spaghetti here. I'm going to put a little bit in my plate. There we go. Then I'm going to give me a little of this green beans. The multitude of the fish, y'all. The multitude of the fish. Y'all hear me? You know, I'm going to make my plate fat. I'm going to show y'all something. I'm not stingy with food. And my green beans, I put a bay leaf in here, okay? I put a bay leaf in my green bean, but I took it out as I boiled my water. Of course, I use my complete, okay? I use my complete, and I use a, a turkey leg. When I didn't use all 
bottom of the turkey leg, I use a one fourth of a turkey leg. I put it, this plate is pretty hot, y'all. I put it uh, inside of my green beans, okay? Now, I'm gonna cut this fish off, y'all, because I'm finna have me a little bite. And I'm gonna tell y'all, in my house, you don't starve. I'm not gonna let you starve, okay? And I got plenty more fish to cook. But uh, I gotta get off of this camera. I'm tired of holding this camera. Okay, don't mind. Okay, there's my fish, y'all. Don't it look good? All right, all right. Now this is a piece like this, what that lady gave me yesterday. She gave me a piece something like that. Uh-oh, y'all. It's so tender. She gave me a piece of something like that, but just a little bigger. Y'all see that little stuff? But I'm going to show y'all something. My house, you don't get little pieces of fishes. No. If you want two or three, I got you. Do you hear me? I said I got you. I don't feed nobody no little teeny weeny piece of food. That's not me. Ask my family. Ask my son. Ask my husband. They'll tell you. When my auntie hook you up, she hooks you up. And I don't play. I don't play with my food. Mm -mm. I hook you up, baby. Now, some people put cheese on their spaghetti. Like a spaghetti casserole. I don't want no cheese on my spaghetti. Really, I don't want no whole lot of mess on it today. Let me see what else I got here, y'all. To spice up a little bit of you. You know, some people take that white and fish and put cheese, mustard, mayonnaise, or, uh, pickles, lettuce, uh, onions, all that good stuff on that. I'm going to put a couple jalapeno peppers on it. They put it on the bread. But I'm not going to put it on no slice of light bread today. I'm not going to do all that. I'm going to do my stuff anyway. This is jalapeno. No, this is banana peppers. Oh, they so good. They so good. If you don't like it, you ain't got to eat it. Now, okay, I'm finna say my prayer. I'm gonna let y'all see this beautiful plate here. Y'all see this beautiful plate? You put what you want on it. I don't care, hot sauce, whatever, jalapeno, whatever. And I'm gonna say my praise. You know, say your grace, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes you forget. And I'm gonna take a bite of this good spaghetti here. It's hot. Mmm. This is just the way I like it. Mm. It's not curled up in my fork. You know how you curl them up and let it go stringy, huh? Mm -mm. I didn't have time to do all that. <laughs> I'm on TV screen. Let me taste this green bean. Mmm. Woo! Look at me. <laughs> I'm going off with this. Y'all give me a chance, okay? I don't know which way to go with this fish, but I'm finna bite it. Make it wanna sing, baby. They good. Maybe y'all can't see the meat in my spaghetti, but there you go. Y'all saw this fail back off before. Mmm. 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 Ooh. Mr. Onion. Y'all, 
Y'all can cut me off if you want to. This is good. Mm -hmm. I've never like cooking your arms good at home. Fry your fish in the deep fry or the skillet, pot, whatever. On each side, about 10 to 15 minutes or less or more. How you like it? Mm. Burn spaghetti 30 minutes to an hour or less or more. How you like it? Rinse your, I always rinse your pasta off. Rinse your pasta. Mm -hmm. Okay, though. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> It got good. I couldn't help it. It got good. Mm, mm, mm. You can use fresh green bean if you want. I use two cans of these. Got it at Walmart. Rinse them out real good. Cause I ain't had time for all that. I have a testimony to tell. Okay? Now, I want y'all to know if you got a testimony, if you got a testimony, tell it. If you got a testimony, tell it. Okay? Now, if y'all like what I cook today, this is the white and fish I use. I got it at Walmart. It's filet. If y'all like what I cook today, give me two thumbs up, my spaghetti. Let me find a box. I didn't use it all, but I got it at Walmart. You see that? I shop at Walmart a lot. So give me two thumbs up if you like what I cooked today. My fried whitey fish in my cast iron skillet with peanut oil. And my complete season is really good. And my garlic powder, two teaspoons of each or more, whatever you want. My spaghetti with my sauce uh, in the jar. This here, or you can use what you want, and a half a can of this tomato paste. All this stuff comes from Walmart, okay? And my meal over here that I use. No eggs, no beer, no milk, no none of that. No uh, 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 baking powder, none of that. Okay, now I, I, I want y'all no water, but rinse them off. And my purple onion. I want y'all, if y'all like what I cooked today, give me two thumbs up. Share, subscribe, and like, okay? And if you have a testimony, tell it. Don't hold it in. Go to church, tell it. Tell it at home. Tell it to your family, your friends, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, mama, daddy, uncle, grandma, granddaddy, great, great, great aunties and aunties, whoever. Just tell it. Okay? Now, I'm going to let y'all go. Two thumbs up. Share, subscribe, and like. Okay? Praise God. Don't forget that. And I hope y'all like what I sung today. Until next time, bye-bye.
Hallelujah. 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 H